Yeah, I really enjoyed the part where you guys just kept making fun of me. That was great. Sooner or later, we're going to have a laugh track, so it's all right. You're understandable. I, on the other hand, am just stupid. Go ahead, bold boy. Don't worry. All we got to do is sit through a 10-point earthquake. You're out. You're done. I think I need to go to bed because my brain is just clutch. So you guys know that uh, 80s Christian hair metal was a thing? What? Yeah, Petra. Yeah, dude. Okay, yeah, you know what Petra is. That's yeah. exactly who I was thinking of. I was listened to them. To I, so was mine. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what that is. So Petra, Cadence, is a, uh, it was a band in the 80s, which was a Christian 80s hair metal band. So, like, like your, your uh, Guns N' Roses type oh, of... Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. It's actually kind of good. It, it's surprisingly <laughs> good. I got. I gotta listen yep. to them. It's it's really good. Uh, the best one is probably "This Means War." Uh, yeah. It's it really freaking good. And I listened to it on my jog earlier, and it was, ooh, I, I felt <laughs> it hyped. Was I was ready to was punch spicy. the Satan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gonna punch oh, Satan. Hold on. I'm gonna punch him right in his big old <laughs> stupid horns. Right there. It's going to be great. It's going to hurt my knuckles, but it'll be worth it. Uh, God. <laughs> what? So, guys, welcome back to another episode of the HPE Show. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host, Joseph Galleon, and joining me this week is your boy, Mr. Chase Galleon. Yeah, it's me. Oh, oh. Gotta, gotta keep the claps That's going. That's right. We're, we're here. We're out here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're uh-huh. here. Yo, we, we, be, we out here. All right, and Mr. Cadence Quatschreiber. Yes. Clap yes, myself. Hello. <laughs> hello. Very nice. Are we just going to start that clapping nice. for everyone that that's should on? Be. No. <laughs> it should be. There's just it more, more it's a levels celebration. to the show. Right, it's yeah. a celebration. Heck yes. Sooner or later, we're going to have a laugh track. So. <laughs> yes. I will no. never sink to the level of friends. It'll be a live studio audience one of It'll these days. Live. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. I feel like we kind of need a laugh track for this show because no one laughs to begin with. There's so. too much. There's too much space. There's a yeah. lot of space whenever I leave the call. Which, by the way, so I fixed it, my boys. Oh, I yay. did in fact. I did in fact fix it. What was the problemo? Uh, the problemo was the router and also uh, the Wi-Fi adapter in my tower. So there's oh, that. Okay. I saw this thing. So like, yeah. This pretty dope looking thing on TikTok that is like a Wi-Fi extender. But Mm -hmm. it does it through the ether. Like you have to plug in an external Ethernet cable into your device, and then it has a wireless little section that it connects to your router, and then it kind of transmits that signal, and it actually boosts your signal. I don't know how it does it. Magic, magic. Yeah, I guess. Magic. I don't know. It's black magic. Burn them at the stake. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> thank you for the story uh yeah no so it was kind of a whole journey getting the thing to work because i was like trying to get everything to fix so i went through and like checked my actual settings on the on the wi-fi mm-hmm. and then i went to go i was like oh maybe it's just where it's sitting at so i moved the router but uh in 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 the process of moving the router i dropped it ah and I was classic. like, oh, oops. So anyway, I hooked it back up, and I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a clap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. you dropped it. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I dropped the freaking router. I, I hook it back up, and still doesn't work. Mm. And Ooh. But also, now it doesn't work, period. <laughs> cool. Right. So Snap. I was like, hmm. Uh, so I left and that went happened. to work. Uh, and I was like, okay, that's really whack. My internet is being trash, whatever. So I get back, and this is after uh, I think I think I went to record the service for church. So I like left the middle of the day, and I came back, and the the you know our internet boy had come through. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, they went. They my parents told me they uh, my guy picked up 
the router and shook it, and you could hear stuff jingling around Dang. the inside. He's like, "That's not good. That's not right." So we That's have a new router. So we, yeah. we have a new router. So there's that. Yeah, you had a router that was a rattlesnake uh, as a second life. Like that's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, good lord. Okay, so hey, how's every, how was everybody's Easter, my dudes? It was good. good. Yeah, I did a drive-in did service on Sunday mm. or yesterday, I guess. That was pretty. Yeah, I heard. I heard about drive-in services. How how do, how was that? Uh I mean, it's a little disconnecting, but I what mean, is, what is a drive-in oh, yeah. service? It's like, you remember drive-in theaters? Yeah. It's that. Oh, yeah, they, dang, they just that's set up. Kind of awesome. Yeah, my dad did like um, an acoustic set outside with just a PA speaker, and yeah, that's, had like forty pretty cool. forty cars and trucks in the drive. Hey, the that's lot. awesome. Yeah, that's honestly kind of cool. Uh, our church did, um, freaking yeah, <laughs> we did a live stream. <laughs> uh, we recorded it on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, okay. It was really fun because we all we recorded. We've been recording all of the services on DSLR cameras, not with our big production whatever stuff Ooh, that we yeah. normally use for like uh, day of live stream. So we've been using like these nice Sony cams right. and everything. I've been rocking that shoulder mount. It's really fun because Josh, the creative uh, lead over there at church, is uh, keeps putting me on the platform. And I'm like, it's cool. Hey. I'm really glad that you're making a conceited effort to put the fat guy on the on the platform. <laughs> right. It's really nice. He just wants to so see everyone a nice can somehow. stare at this dumpy boy. It's great. Uh, they can definitely see I'm there though, so they know where to look. Yeah. That's <laughs> so right. Maybe I guess that's, that's something. Kind of, yeah, that's that's what yeah, it is. Have that's a nice what it is. Silhouette. <laughs> uh, silhouette. Lordy, it's a silhouette. Is that is. Is that a giant pear? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Oh, oh no, it's Joseph. No, it's, it's okay. Oh, my lord, oh. it's Joseph. I thought it was the silhouette of Jabba the Hutt. All right. Oh, no. All right. There's your your 20 cc's of self-deprecation. <laughs> what did by your tactus? Oh, my lord. That got so crazy. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, yeah, uh, so our Easter was fun. We recorded a song and mostly just hung out, played Uno Flip for the first time. That was, I oh. actually kind of dig Uno Flip, dude. It's it's kind of. How has that changed from I, I, uh, I'd be Uno. digging on it. There's too so, many Unos. <laughs> yeah. there's, In my there's, opinion. You're not wrong. <laughs> In my humble opinion. In the spirit of the game, I think there should just be one. But <laughs> yeah. you, I, I think should there just should just be Uno. Uno. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't Freaking, tell my joke. Um. <laughs> I beat you to it. Shut up. Um, friggin' what was it? Even? Oh, so yeah, we went to the store. Uh, I had to pick up some Lego stuff for a class uh, at film school because you know doing film school online do in quarantine is really weird. Yes, actually, uh, because my my uh, film instructor was like, "All right, so I need you guys to build a model that you're going to use like in in a in a film." And, uh, That's pretty awesome, actually. You know, and then upload a photo. Oh and I was God. like, I'm about to cheese the mess out of this class and just make a freaking Lego set. So I've got <laughs> Tony Stark's Hall of Armors right now. Uh, and I found I found my old Hulkbuster from Age of Ultron and everything, and I've just got it sitting on top of my uh, shelf right now. Yeah. And it looks quite nice. It's sitting in between my two uh, <laughs> two of my uh, flat bill... <laughs> ah, yes. The Words. <laughs> uh, right. Sitting in between my 116 hat and my uncomfortable Andy Mineo hat. It's ah, very nice hats. Yes. Two of my favorites. Um, oh, goodness. You can't, leave that, much, you can't leave that much space in between. Oh, yeah. What did, what well, did that I, was what uncomfortable. Did I <laughs> <laughs> uncomfortable. Uh, this is... There's the laugh track. All right, where's our friend's laugh track? Ha, ha, we gotta find ha, it. Ha, 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 ha. I don't need a laugh track. I got it. <laughs> what the... I got it. I got it. That was it's, great. That's fine. That was great. I got it. It's I'm a big fine. fan. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan too. Such a big fan. Big fan. Yeah. So yeah. So that was fun. Uh, Uno flip is played like normal Uno. Okay. Back to Uno flip. <laughs> Except it's. Uh, flip. Yeah, we, we were walking through uh, the game section where I was going to get uh, the Legos, Ooh. and we mom was like, hey, if you see the expansion pack for uh, Catan, which, you know, Settlers of Catan, yeah. if you've never played it, it's one of those creepy homeschooler games. <laughs> yeah, um, annoying. It really is. Uh, it's e either you're Christian or you're homeschooled to play it. It's like <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Uh, 
It's such a cliche. Uh, freaking. So obviously it's Walmart, and Elizabeth Town is the world's smallest Walmart. Did I just dox myself? Probably. Yeah. Um, mm. Kind of did. It's not like I'm just about to live there anymore. Oh, by the way, we're moving. Yay! Uh, hey. Yeah. So that's the surprise. Uh, it, it'd be a thing. It'd be a thing. But anyway, uh, <laughs> back to more important topics like Uno Flip. We walked through the thing. Obviously, world's smallest Walmart, so they didn't have Catan. Right. But Ben freaks out, and I'm like, "What's wrong, little little small child?" And he goes, first of all, I am 14. You better put some respect on my name." And I'm like, "Okay, I, I apologize, sir." And and he says, "Uno Flip," and I was like, "The crap is Uno Flip?" <laughs> and he points at it, and it's like, "Oh, it's Uno Flip. It's just Uno, but different." Okay, cool. And he's like, "No, it's great. You'll love it." So we called up mom and it's like, hey, we don't have it, but we got Uno Flip or some crap. And she's like, okay, get that instead. Sitting there was Uno, Uno Flip, and quite possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen, which is the sequel to Uno, Dos. Hey. So I, I didn't think... Me I, neither. I made jokes like that as a child, but it's literally from the makers of Uno, it's Dos. Man, okay, that's is it? That's I don't. Crazy. I don't think know if they it's get a little creative. The exact same. Or, I think? see Uno branching out wait for with Tris. the dose. I see. All I see is two dose. Unos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, my my question about that, right? Is is it just the same as Uno, but you just say dose, and whenever you have two cards, right? Is that the only change? And if you say Uno <laughs> at the very suck. end when you have one card, do you immediately draw two more cards? How does that yeah, work? you say Uno by accident, <laughs> and all of a sudden you have to draw. Uh, it's like just okay, a trick so we game. got. Sounds like a prank gone wrong. We uh, we got, we got Uno Flip back, and we played it, and uh, it's literally just Uno, but on the backside of the cards, there's there's four different colors now. Yeah. So you have your normal green, blue, red, and green. Green, blue, red, and green. Well, I'm dumb. Oh. Green, blue, red, and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Double green. I'm color blind. Um. <sighs> anyway, uh, but now you have, like, four more colors, but, like, you can only play it whenever there's a new, like, power card thing called the flip, where you put it down and you have to flip your entire deck over, and then you play with the other side. Ooh, that's a good idea. It's actually like really fun. I really enjoyed it. For two sides. <laughs> <laughs> you would think. I remember, oh, um, freaking, uh, what's that, what's that other Uno game? It's like the, it's like the one that the cards come at you. Do you remember that? Uh, what? It's a uh, oh my gosh! Hold on, I gotta read. Is it like on a timer and then it like yeah. slowly? Okay. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. What do you? What do you? I remember I'm sorry? seeing commercials for this, um, like a f- million years ago. What is it? The Uno game that Uno, shot cards uh, or yeah? Whatever? What is it? Uno. Oh no! Uno oh. attack. Ah, oh yes. I so do technically, remember that. the other one should be called Trace. <laughs> I was lying. Sons and of Uno guns. Uno flip is quad. <laughs> no, I almost, I almost said quadruple. That's incorrect. Uh just a little bit. Quattro, little quattro is what I meant to say. Anyways, Uno attack. I definitely like was jealous of going to other people's. House. This is back when people played board games. <laughs> I went to other people's houses. I don't know. People be getting back into it because of quarantine. Oh heck yeah! They've yeah. got nothing left to do. Like it's crazy. I was, can listen to the I HPE thought, show. Know, Attack looked cool though, but I like never played it. Yeah, same. I I had never. I didn't understand it. I was just like, oh, there's a machine that shoots Uno cards at you. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. give it to my sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think by the time I like it came out, I wasn't into card games anymore. Yeah. Like I was past that age where they're like six to twelve. I was like yep. twelve point yep. one. You're like from six to seven. That was my age, age yeah. range between hey, loving that's cards. What it is. You're interested. You <laughs> you're know, shoots and ladders is your main game. Oh yeah. I feel I feel like once you get back to like your early to mid twenties, you start liking board games again. But it's like the the friggin' weird board games like Catan. And Dungeons and Dragons, which is technically speaking a board game. Okay. Yeah, you can play it on Role a board. Play. You can play it on a board. You can play it on a board. That was the most patronizing thing I've ever if heard. If you wanna, you could. I mean, yeah, I mean it's you entirely could, up you to could, the player. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you 
feel like it. Oh gosh. Okay. That was yeah, a little Yeah, did you close. like that that ASMR? Uh <laughs> no. Actually. I just realized it. I don't have my pop filter on. I'm a fool in a man's shoes. Yeah, I don't either, so this is a uh... Well, it's kind of because we're recording this on the fly. I mean, you're with your family right now, so Yeah. You're understandable. I on the other hand am just stupid. Hey. So, hey. Uh so yeah, Kate, back to Easter. How how was yours? What what'd you do? I did not do much, honestly. I hung out with my girlfriend, Molly. Thank you. Very interesting. Moving on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, no, legitimately, like that that's pretty much all I did. <laughs> so, do you want Dude, to Dude, no move shame, on, honestly. Good. Like Yeah, good. I'm glad you, I'm glad you had nice time to relax. I th- I think that Sunday, maybe it was Saturday, um, I actually hung up. I, I had bought – well, actually, I picked up this free surfboard. Mm-hmm. It's about um, four four foot tall, um, and it's a light oh. as a feather. So I, I actually sanded down all of the um, um, fins on it mm-hmm. and uh, washed it up because it was pretty dirty. And then uh, me and my dad mounted it to the, my wall, and I put two uh, guitar mounts on it. And then I can actually hang my guitars on it now. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually really cool. Yeah, I'll have to send you a picture. I think it's on my Instagram. I need to actually. do something. Like yeah, that. I, I, I actually think I saw it like on your that. story or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I did too. Yeah. So that was yeah, my that's, project. That's, <laughs> I rarely do projects, yeah, but that cool. was that's that's what I did. Yeah, that's a good project. Uh, though. Yeah, Chase, you you've been doing any projects recently, my guy? Um, not not too many, honestly. Um, I bought a Pokemon Sword. Um, Word. about a week into quarantine because I completely caved in. Um, <laughs> I finished the game in like two days. Uh, not proud of that. Uh, but, Be proud of it. But Be, I'm I mean, proud of it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just doing post-game in that. Uh, trying to, I'm thinking about doing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Is it, uh, do it! Is it the Switch? Yeah, the Switch. Okay. Oh, yes. But oh, I'm yeah. looking at that. Um and then I've been, let's see, I've been playing tennis about every day, trying to stay active. Oh, yeah. Um, running, jogging, hiking, and doing a little skateboarding. Oh. Oh, Tall look at boy. you being a cool cat. Yeah. I'm afraid to fall during skateboarding. Dude, it's <laughs> okay, just yeah, that's a sort of the process of skateboarding. Oh, it's so, breaking your teeth. Yeah, yeah. it's and it's I, pretty scary. I've got even I I haven't even really learned how to do anything with it yet, except for ride it. And I've already like busted up my shins and like, well, like I've gotten two inch deep like bumps on my shin from it. Ah, it's, you're also pretty tall. You and me both. Yeah. So like when we fall, it's like it's a hard fall. It's a hard I mean, fall. <laughs> I mean, it's just hard to sit through that like two minutes of just yeah. falling. I don't think the short people know what it's yeah. like. <laughs> You can hear it like coming Chase crashing it. down, like Chase's uh, Chase's <laughs> shins hit first. Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> like the tower. And it's just there's a whole shaking afterwards, like a full half minute <laughs> yeah. of the ground shaking. It's crazy. Everybody's just like, all right, we got to ride this out. All right, it'll be another like five minutes, and then it'll be finished. It's good. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> all we gotta do is sit through a ten point earthquake. Yeah, it's like living in California. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh no sad times um well uh for more projects I, i'm working on uh some scripts currently so that's fun uh one one project. i've just finished was for my script writing class but it's a part of like a a series of shorts i wanted to do yeah and um so i uh I, i've i think i have six I want to write, Dang. right? That's a lot. Yeah, I've already I've already written two, so that's okay. something. What's what's the what's, uh, what are you thinking of duration through these? Um, well, the first one's only going to be like maybe ten minutes long. I here's the thing, I want to put all of these short films together and have it be feature length. So oh, yeah. there's that. Yeah, and Which then I I figured because then dude, I would have a freaking movie on my hands, right? Yeah, I mean it would be a, an anthology film, but like or well. A, you know, one of those movies that is just—it's like *Ballad of Buster Scruggs*, where it's just a bunch of anthology. Yeah, stories. yeah, yeah. Which is I, a freaking I love movies great like that. idea. Mm-hmm. I which which so I'm looking forward to doing that. It started as just the first script I wrote had an idea of like, oh, you know, I want to write a short with uh, no dialogue. Uh, so I was like, oh, that'd be cool. So I wrote this whatever like post-apocalyptic thing 
Whereas, like, if just a dude surviving on his own and he's living by himself, so of course he doesn't talk. Because uh, there's no point in him talking. Right. Uh, so, until literally the last page of the script, he says one line and then it's credits. Well, isn't, so I wrote all of that. Isn't most of what Sorry, you're just on. writing is literally just camera shots? Or what are you what are you really writing mm. on a piece of paper? You know what I mean? What, for scripting? Yeah, for script-wise. Like, what are you doing there? Uh, You've read my scripts. What are you talking yeah, about? Saying, You've been in like, ten yelling Maggie. Well, I'm saying, like, you, like, you're saying one line at the end. So what is that? Oh. What is that? Uh, so like? it, it, it's mostly action at that point, okay. what I'm writing. The oh, reason, okay. the reason the script, the script is short. It's only like six pages, right? Right. Uh, but the reason it's so short is because there's only action descriptions. There's no uh, dialogue. There's nothing to break up the action. Mm. Uh, my, my script writing teacher, she, she put it really well. She said that dialogue is important because it breaks up the, the black ink. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, if you only have action, it just looks like there's a black square on a piece of paper from, like, a little bit off. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, it, sure it makes, makes it <laughs> – yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 uh, <laughs> But, yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense what she was saying because, yeah, it, it can be kind of intimidating to just look at a block of text. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, i got to read all this. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so, yeah, my uh, that first script is pretty blocky whole lot of a whole lot of action yeah uh but the second one oh so yeah it kind of got me thinking i was like oh i could write a whole bunch of scripts based off of like post-apocalyptic whatever which i know is really ironic for the what we're what's going on right now but you know, <laughs> there, it, yeah. is, uh, it is what's transpiring right now <laughs> oh wait hold on hold on i got the perfect reaction hold on uh i know it's kind of ironic for what's going on right now <laughs> There we go. You cut it off too 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 late. You gotta too let early. it drag on for way yeah. too long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Take two. Here we go. Ready? All right. Here we go, guys. Here we exactly. go. Exactly. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh wait, I thought you meant like the break in between the joke and the laugh. Oh no. no, no. Like, no I, thought, go I thought you meant like go something like this right here, where laugh. it's like, uh, where it's like, um. <clears throat> <laughs> it's like uh you know oh uh, yeah it was kind of ironic for what's going on right now <laughs> that, wow. Wow. it was too long yeah. for my, yeah, my just a little bit it was too long for my short that down slightly <laughs> can you imagine if they took like half of the really bad sitcoms that are on right now and then just like took out the laugh track how awkward it would be because it's just like in between lines people stop and stare at each other yeah oh, yeah well they have you those should... videos out on youtube now yeah like everyone oh yeah that. i saw it one is, about friends without the it laugh is track eerie as heck it, it is, is so odd instantly a horror can I, classic can i <laughs> yeah can i make a bold statement yeah go ahead bold boy ready you hate friends not really a fan of friends yeah yeah it's not really coming. for me yeah <laughs> um Poops I, on I like friends. friends. You know what? <laughs> yeah. This might surprise you. I don't like friends. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay. I know a lot of people do like I, I like friends, um, but I don't think I ever got into it as much as everybody else did. Yeah, same. More of um, more of an office guy. I am more of an office guy. I think I think the uh friends was was very um it was super hyped. And um Yeah. Sometimes like when stuff like that happens, I'm just like I'm it's not for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, like I watched I it, think but it wasn't yeah. like my favorite thing in the world. I enjoyed it twenty four seven, but like, I would always. I feel like I would rewatch The Office a million times and maybe rewatch The mm-hmm. Friends like once. I don't know. Yeah, that's just me. That's though. fair. Well, oh, yeah. see, like for me, it's like I've seen a few episodes and I was just like, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, like I said, it's not a bad it, show. I don't think like, it's I, bad. I really no. like it. But it's just yeah. not. It's not my. It's not my thing. I mean, especially like, with I, it being in the, um, like the Seinfeld times and everything, where everybody oh, yeah. was oh, doing yeah. the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind Makes of paint by numbers a little bit, yeah. where it, it feels like every other show that was on at that time. Yeah, right. Also, I have a personal vendetta against it because it came on at the same time as who li- whose line is it? Isn't anyway? Oh, that, that, that is so good. good. Yes, that is. Oh, um. Yeah. 
Who's lying away? Nice. I was going to get out the life, the laugh track again. Oh. I thought you just, you just forgot <laughs> just to say really something. Just get really quiet just again. Like... <laughs> you hear the laugh track? That'd be great. But, uh, oh, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah, no, Who's Lying is, is It Anyway? That's an incredible show. And, uh, yeah, no. It, it was funny watching, like, Drew Carey and all them make fun of the, uh, of of friends because it was on at the same time as them oh, so they yeah. were two competing shows so that was really fun oh, but um yeah. oh i was talking about scripts i apologize no you good Woo. we're bouncing from topics my boys oh, hey, yeah but uh so i decided to do a cool thing with uh each script i'm titling it after a song so that's fun do i um what's up with the what's up with the music do we need to have a conversation yeah. Oh, yeah, so uh, you're out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, By the way, the conversation is five seconds long. You're out. <laughs> you're done. No, I'm definitely probably going to want you to do at least some of the shorts. I, I have you know, I have some crazy talented friends, and that's what I've come to notice. Um, because, like, I was talking to an old friend from uh, whenever I was a kid. And I was talking to her, and she's like, oh, yeah, uh, I had to write this whatever, like, classical piece. And I was like, I'm sorry? You oh, wrote? Dang. You wrote? And she sent it to me, and it sounds freaking amazing. And she's like, oh, this sounds terrible, because it's, it's supposed to be played much slower. Or, like, I think she said much faster. And I was like, oh, oh it doesn't sound terrible, though. Right. Most people <laughs> it was, like, do incredible. that, though. And I, I would say I even do that. Just being creative yeah, and stuff like that. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, agreed. I mean, you look at everybody else, and you see people who are so successful, and you right. look at your own thing that's mm-hmm. not maybe as polished. Up. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So it's hard to it's hard to judge that in reality. Yeah, no, I I 100% agree. I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's like a lot of uh, your creative types chris hates that word so whenever he's listening to this podcast he's going to be like throwing <laughs> like glasses against the wall creative uh, what it is time. creative how dare you uh. anyway left track time uh so you freaking i think i think it is it is like a, a weird thing with the creative types where it's like um <laughs> i feel like we're always kind of pretty self-deprecative i guess that's the word i don't know how to say it we are into self-deprecation because it's like i don't know it's it's really weird we don't want to highly self-critical about it yeah yeah Yeah. because we don't want to be disappointed you know what i mean exactly and obviously that's not all of them right uh all all creative types but it's like i have noticed a lot of a lot of that especially from like my friends in the film program it's like i don't know even even my boy benny Benny boy he rocks dude like he is first of all an incredible grip lights like nobody's business but he and he's a great like cameraman as well like the, the first script what I'm doing with every single script of the the series of, th- of scripts that I was telling you about is I'm giving it to different people to be DOPs so we can get a different visual language every single short right so it's going to be really fun like I'm getting Bennett to do the first one I'm getting Ben clack Ooh, to do the second ben one, Clark? yes, my boy Ben, yes, yes ben sir, Ben, yes, that guy. freaking Clark, Ben that Clark, artist, Benjamin Clark, my boy, Clark Benjamin, ben- Benjamin Clarky boy. Uh, the third one is uh, Corinne, who was also on Daniel Maggie. Yes, and she's incredible, such an amazing camera lady. She was the DP on that uh, Detective Carol short that we did. Yeah. Uh, I really want to finish those, by the way. Like, yeah, I was I've about got, to say that's probably on I've hold got for a episodes bit. done, like scripts are done, all of them. So I wish you, that we could just film it. Where are you putting these? On the on the channel. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've I mean we've only got like technically two right now: Detective Carol and that freaking Blade and Bigfoot project thing that oh, we geez. me and Chase made in 2017. Yeah, it was a while. I went back. back. I went back and looked at it. Kind of holds up. <laughs> it's the dumbest <laughs> that's, thing. That's good. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but it's funny. So right. there's that. So there's uh, that. So we have that. So that we, we have, have the comedy. We have part. that. You know. Uh, but fourth one is Chris. Chris, my boy, Chris Grady. He is doing it. Chris. Uh, fifth one is I don't know yet. Wow, that's uh, a yeah. Weird. I love uh, her. I'm, she's great. So, yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm thinking about tossing it to or like running it by my actual camera professor and be like, hey, 
Right. Do you want to you wanna, you wanna do a weird post-apocalyptic <laughs> racing that? movie? Yeah. Spoilers. Uh, yeah. And then the sixth one, I want to be like a complete one-shot. Oh, the yes. whole short film. Yeah, which will be yeah. hard to do. But right. uh, I'm giving that one to Haley, who was the DP for Daniel and Maggie, and she did an incredible job. Uh, sp- yeah. So what, what was I even talking about? Sorry, you guys. Oh, I was getting, about, you guys cut out every once in a while. So sorry. I never know like it, when you're it, actually done with like the that. sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just jump in in the middle of a sentence <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh it's yeah. Like, so yeah, guys. Um, you know, I'm not feeling really good lately. Uh, you know, I kind of got this whole depressing. So guys, did you go <laughs> Easter egg hunting? Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I, like I looked at my, up, my yeah, mic was for your own bed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I, this is this what? Is it... <laughs> that was a really slow. Is this clock. what being uh, in a full episode feels like? Yeah. Yes, because you didn't it die halfway, to, like it halfway in the beginning. Raid after the first yeah. oh, yeah. minutes. <laughs> first, like five <laughs> seconds are the best. After that, it's really like, is. you're like, what is happening? Oh, Cade, by the way, I don't know if you remember what we end the show with a uh, a segment called Take It or Leave It. Do you remember it? Do I got to explain? Explain it. Oh, God. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> oh, uh, so, really it, uh, I can get really close. No, no, no. It's okay. Don't, please. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> Take it or leave it is the segment at the end of the show where we talk about one good thing and one bad thing. One thing that you like, whether it be just a movie or an actual, like, really deep philosophical kind of a thing. And leave it is a thing that you don't like. That's literally it. We just talk about it. And typically it's, like, from the week, but it could be from whatever. And it literally could be almost just anything you want it to be. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, Your friendly reminder. Okay. Um, you got me so worried yeah. now. I don't know what I'm going to say. Right. Mm. Uh, we never know what we're saying. Nobody <laughs> ever thinks yeah. about it until literally we get to it. But, uh, but yeah. Um, yay. But, yeah, no, uh, what I was saying about Bennett, he's – dude, he is such an incredible writer as well. Ooh. Dude, he – I read one of his scripts. It was like a Western. And dude, it was—he was like, I don't know, it's kind of all right. And I was like, this is great. We need to make this. So uh, hopefully, Benny Boy, if you're listening, uh, we need to make that thing. Let's do the thing. Oh, dude, ah, oh, it's gonna be great. There's so many cool projects that that I have planned. Like even stuff that I'm doing with Bennett, we're planning like a like a cool thing. <laughs> I can't really talk much about it because it's like super early stages. But we wanted to do like a sci-fi thing. And we've just been talking about ideas for it. So, dude, I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, oh, I, I keep bouncing around. I think I need to go to bed because my brain is just kaput tonight. Yeah, yeah. mine too. Yeah. <laughs> I like how non-supportive you guys are. It's like, yes, leave. This yeah. podcast is leave. trash. Go away. Go. Yes. I'm hurt. Yeah, you should cute, be. Cute laughing track. Because I meant to hurt. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I spiked, the, uh, I spiked the audio with my stupid Yeah, with you Seth and your freaking Seth Rogen. I beat you to it, you jerk. <laughs> anyway. Impressions with Kane. Uh, and, yeah, welcome to Impression Time. <laughs> uh, oh, so, yeah. <laughs> That was um, the worst named... segment that we've had so far. I mean, we were funny Impression for a time? second. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds. That's all we need. Oh gosh. What, what do you? What else you got for us, Joseph? This podcast was a mistake. <laughs> what else? Um, what else you got for us? Okay. Come on, every single out. episode or every single short in the thing is named after a song. Right. Wait. What? Like is oh, what I said I earlier see. that. Yeah, it's all titled after attention. a song that I want to pay that I want to yeah. play in it. I'm glad I'm proud of you. The first one's called "I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire," which is a song by the Ink Spots. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you boys have heard it. You've I heard definitely it. You've have played it. Fallout. I'm not gonna lie. I think you. I don't want to set the world on yeah. fire. Oh, do you know? What? I think you played it for me like that. 
a while back That's whenever great. you first talked about the I think I just stuff. Th- this is yep. When I first told you about the script yeah. you know, or the idea for the story. This is before I even started scripting. Yeah. Uh the second one's called Orange Colored Sky, which is a Nat King Cole. Uh classic. It's great. The third one is called King of the Road. Yeah. Uh which I gotta From Mario Kart theme. I Mark, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's from it's from Rainbow Road. Uh no, it's by uh Roger Miller and it's it's a great song. And uh so the fourth one is Big Iron, which is a oh, Marty Robbins. Yes, sir. Dude, it's yes, it big slaps. <laughs> it 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 doth slap. Uh the fifth one is Rapid Roy, which is a Jim Croce song. Okay. Uh that's the guy who did a uh, friggin' Oh, uh, what is that song? I can't remember the song. Don't mess around with Jim or something like that. Mm. I won't. Mm. Trust don't, me. Do <laughs> don't do it. Jim, don't, don't play do it, games. Trust Come on now. Don't mess around Trust with Jim. Me, don't they're, mess they're, around. They're, they're, hey, you know, everybody says, look, don't you know? You don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't tug don't on Superman's cape. You don't, you don't spit in the wind. You don't pull the mask off of old Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. There we go. Those, those are the lyrics wow. of the song. I'm funny. I, do you do you live by all those rules? Yes. It seems like. <laughs> okay, but Big Iron is actually amazing. Yeah, I, that's a great song. When we were working together, um, that's when I picked that song up, and I I've been listening to it. I put it in a few playlists because it's a beautiful mm-hmm. tune. You ought to listen to the whole album that that's from Marty Robbins. Uh, what is it like? Oh, hold on! I gotta look up the actual name of the the the, the fake whole fan album. I am a fake <laughs> fan. Chris fan. has got it on vinyl. Fake fan alert. Chris has got it on vinyl. It's that good. Uh, it's like mm, oh, sounds like gosh, Chris is a like, real fan. <laughs> I hate everything you people stand for. <laughs> yeah, gunfighter ballads and trail songs. Oh, you couldn't remember and that. You couldn't just remember that. Yeah. That was such an Come easy on one. <laughs> Short, straight to the point. <laughs> you people are the why are the why i can't even speak oh wow sounds like you're not a real fan of talking that was uh, shake it off Whew. so yep. um shake it off so um the the last the last one is 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 it's called uh it's 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 called "Love Me as If the World May End Tomorrow," which is a uh, another Nat King Cole song. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That's all the time I have today. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I hate <God>. you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most terrible impression ever. It's like a it's like a mix between Fat Albert and Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true it i never is. thought I about that that's podcast. actually so true <laughs> yeah. i quit i just got called a mix between fat albert and seth rogan hey there are worse this combos is not okay there. that's all i'm saying like what hey, name a like better what? duo name, name, Whoopi, Go- Whoopi goldberg and fergie all right so he makes a point is that yes. Cardi B? I i don't he, well yeah i mean I mean, yeah. I mean, it's getting off track so fast. That's that's the goal of the show. <laughs> Shut up. The goal is to be off. Sometimes track. I wonder what we're talking about for like a hot huh? second, and I'm like, oh yeah, nothing. We're literally talking <laughs> right, yeah, about nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It doesn't matter. It's the H. Anyway, it's the H P E show. Look at the H P E show. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I just realized that, um, by the time this comes out, it'll be two days after Daniel and Maggie <gasps> goes live. Hey. What? So yeah. How'd you like it, everyone? Out. Yeah. But yeah, Comment that's down the below. question. How, how was it being on set, boys? It was cold. Dope. It was cold, cold <laughs> but it was dope. It was flipping You're not cold. Wrong. Yeah, that I first day really... was yeah. incredibly cold. Even yeah. in that Everyone, house, it was, like, dude, whoa. especially in the house. Yeah. Uh, 
it was bad because people on the outside were like, ah, "Dude, okay, so yeah, it was we filmed this back in February." Yeah. I think it was it was in February. Uh and so we we got it working and everything. And uh shout out to the amazing people at Harmony Hall Plantation for letting us film there. It's so cool that you guys were awesome and let us do that. And it was also super awesome that on the second day you were, like the groundskeeper is like, "Well, why don't you just start a fire?" <laughs> and we were like <laughs> We were like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. and then we did, and we were warm, oh. and it was beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, it was great because he said that, and I called Chris that very second, and I go, Chris, I need you to bring firewood. Wood. He's like, don't worry about it. So we had a whole whole wood fire oh, the yes. second day, which is fun because that means we had. I mean, we did all the exteriors on the second day, and all the interiors on the first. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's you know good. That was, uh, but. We, we had a whole bunch of, like, uh, smoke, and, and it added, actually, a lot to the uh, scene, when I to be honest. It looked good. got home, um, oh, yeah. my suspenders <laughs> smelled so bad, I, I uh-huh. legitimately oh, yeah. almost threw up. It was, it was so bad. Like, it was yeah, so it, soured. It, it took forever for me soured. to get, Soured. Like, the smell Ugh. of the fire off of my jackets and sweatshirts. Oh, I was like, yeah. this is crazy. For granted, See? it took me a while to wash them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just, but. I just left them, but uh, it works. But it works, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, that was that fire was nasty, though. When it got oh, yeah. Clothes. Smoke See, very the warm, problem. very nasty. I <laughs> love the smell. Of a of a campfire, oh, so I should have well, okay. It's so not that I that dislike sweatshirt. the smell of a campfire. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, just real hard. Hold on, yeah, Kate. Are we gonna talk about? What he, he goes, well, I should have shoved your face uh, in it. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, do you want to have, go back man. to the end of the segment where we talk about one good thing now? Because you just already <laughs> talked about apparently, your negative thing. <laughs> uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Rude. We're just skipping. We're just skipping. It's my everything. That's right. That's right. Hey, rude. It's <laughs> rude. Round. Oh, I've been I've been working on my Trump impression. Ooh, let's talk about politics. <laughs> that oh, like that's a good a idea. idea. That's a great idea. A freaking well, I noticed that Trump does this really weird thing whenever he's talking. Oh, does he? That he, he like. <laughs> Where's the laugh track when you need it? Yeah. Um. No, he, he, like, will... It's like he's having two different conversations where he'll have the main conversation and then he will agree with himself. Like, he'll be, you know, he'll be talking about, about these amazing people that we have working in our health care. They're, they're great. They're really great. They're great folks. They really are. And and then he goes back to it. And it's like, what what just happened? All right, so, yeah, I'm, no one's laughing. Um, uh, <clears throat> kind of um, wants it there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, also, uh, yeah. Uh, there's just a whole lot of silence. Nobody was supporting me, so there's just, uh, I'll support myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to my to That was my, uh, actually, when we went to uh, Daniel Maggie um, set, I went, um, mm-hmm. that's the first time I met, uh, I guess that's the second time I met Chris. Because we had yeah. gone to that yeah. coffee shop. I went with Chris. That stab. Bennett. You and uh, um, Haley. Haley, yeah. I don't. Was anybody else there? I'm going to no. feel bad if anybody no, else was no. there. I don't think it was. Well, and that yeah. was also the first time that, like, we ever, like, actually legitimately like, had a hung conversation. Out, yeah. Because we'd seen each other from uh, the shows uh, with yep. your brothers. But, like, and, and your mom, your mom was kept talking to me like you would you you and my son need to talk about movies and i was like yeah I'm yeah done. see here's the thing right because i feel like we probably had the same reaction i was like it's I'm, really I'm not, weird it's not that whenever I'm not like no i was just like yeah all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah to me because mom was like oh my goodness there's this there's this guy at uh at, so at, there's this at, boy. There's, so there's this boy <laughs> it's like mom no uh, mom. But, mom stop <laughs> uh 
but no, uh, no, she was like, so you would, you would love Cadence. Oh, you would get along so well. He came with this cool little film thing that held the, the camera. And oh, he was, I remember like, that studying day. And, I remember that day. Yeah. And it was I exactly remember it too, because mom told me all about it. Uh, and, and she was like, you guys should get together. I'm like, mom, am I 21 and you are trying to set me up on a play date? <laughs> uh, I was 20 at the time though. And, and, and she's like. Yes, I was like, okay. Uh-huh. You were like, but hey, okay, dang. And and then we and then we had a play date. It was great. And it and and then thus began the friendship. And it was of a lifetime. Oh yeah, it was it was it was beautiful. You picked me up. Speaking from of Molly's our friendship, house. yeah, that was really weird. The first time yeah. I like really hung out with you, I picked you up from your girlfriend's house. <laughs> yeah, it was a little different. It was different. But I was like, hey, how you one doing? One can't choose their first date, so that's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. Uh, any stories from set that we can actually talk about? Oof. I actually really just want to hear. I want to hear what Chase has to say about set, and then I'll say my piece oh. about set. How does that sound? Mm-hmm. Give your piece. Um, let's see. Slap uh, my day one. Day Ouch. one. Day one. Oh, you arrived. Okay. So day one. Friggin'. The only thing that I remember from the first day is being inside with the that 70s show shot around the circle oh yeah yeah and that was such a good I freezing that. that's it yeah legitimately that's, that's all you remember all i remember <laughs> and i was drinking i remember saying lines <laughs> and, that was it. and then going home i was like ha, ha. Cool. um there's a lot of space see. between what just happened that shot and yeah everything that's the thing that you gotta know about know. you gotta know about chase he's the uh he, he's a real <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you guys seen that wine commercial with uh, Orson Welles? No, I actually don't even. I don't know who think that I is. have. Orson Welles is, for those that don't know, uh, a classic actor. He was, uh, the, he's the main character in Citizen Kane, okay. and uh, did a lot of radio and stuff like that. He was in this wine commercial before he died, where every take he was drinking the wine, and by the end, he was shwasted. <laughs> uh, like it was bad he goes ah the wine is the best <laughs> it's one of the best things i've ever he heard because he is just he is so drunk oh i will 100 percent send it um so the reason that. i bring that up is because uh that's that's chase on set <laughs> there we go just Freaking it's wino. amazing it's amazing we piece together what we had there we go he's just always drunk on set yeah. always drinks on the I job mean, you just have to get yourself a little limbered up and you know, a you have to be able to bend backwards I between mean, your legs, and then you're good. To be fair, though, we didn't start filming the first day until oh my gosh, yeah, like twelve o'clock. Oh yeah, well, getting there. That's at, like, the thing nine. about that shoot was it was so like hectic and stressful. Setup yeah. was because, ridiculous. Well, yeah, <laughs> the setup was a problem because we we meant to get there the day before, but we we couldn't. Literally, we did not have the time to do it. So we had to set up all the grip department, all the camera, all the sound, and get actors in their place and rehearse before we could start going, which was really mm-hmm. annoying. But I was, you know, pretty gifted to have some really awesome uh, cast that uh, actually knew their lines before showing up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kay, do you remember whenever uh, we were in play practice? Because me, me, me and Cadence are in a play. I don't know if you knew this. Um. At, at play practice, whenever uh, our, our play director started talking about how different film and um, theater was. You definitely cut out there for a second. You're going to have to say the question. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Just feed it to me once more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember whenever our, our play director started talking about the difference between film yes, and Yes, that um, was some cringy play? cringe. <laughs> I just was uh, looking at she's you. She's such an amazing play director, but you could tell she didn't really know what she's talking about for film. Well, I guess even Kyle, when when we were sitting there with Kyle as well, and we were talking about rehearsing lines, um, you can tell he had a look on his face, just like this is probably not somewhere you want to go because yeah. it is it is really two different crowds. Um, <laughs> musical theater and just theater in general are just they're just in, extremely different. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, and she, and and she mentioned about like learning your lines for 
a film. Yeah. She was like, she's like, yeah, you really have to know your lines. You have to know it and, and to get there. So I know it's a real big uh, difference uh, because, you know, on a film set, you don't really have to know your lines. Yeah. It, you can just get there and kind of learn it. And I was like, oh. And even I was like, I, that's, <laughs> I even said to Rachel, I was like, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. If if like you two showed up to my set and you were like, oh yeah, so we haven't read the script, I'd be like, um, <clears throat> squeeze. No, <laughs> you got delete yourself from my set. Oh yeah, we're yeah. Re- we rescheduling it. Oh, I think gosh, man, yeah. okay, see, I and that's the craziest thing that there is. There's mm-hmm. definitely a lot of prep when it comes to it. like just preparation, I, just equipment yeah. wise. Like it, it I is remember a being a kid. I remember being a kid and looking at the credits and wondering why. Shut up! <laughs> I remember why, being a kid and looking at the credits and being like, "Why are they so long?" Yeah. And now yeah. I know there is so much that goes into movies that so like a lot of people long. don't understand. Oh no. right. And it's amazing that we got what we did for Daniel and Maggie with the smaller crew that we had. I mean, yeah, it was a short film. We only had like. I don't know, let's say 20, 25 people, maybe, right. maybe. That was a lot of altogether. people, though, for us. And it's not film. even counting Crafty, you know, because they had two people bring in, like, sandwiches and stuff for, for craft. Oh, yeah. Which was amazing, oh. by the way. The sandwiches slapped. Yes. Um, I didn't care what I yeah, was eating the, that day. I was just very happy. Yeah, same. I was eating. like, I don't care if it's Cadence, something I did. you keep kosher? I'm a, I did. I ate kosher. There was turkey, and I was like, this is oh, beautiful, and I think they labeled turkey and ham the next day. Yep, they did just for me. I'm pretty Boom. sure that's probably. what happened. You probably walked up and you're like, "Um, hey, so um, <laughs> so can I get some I'm special not, treatment? <laughs> like, I'm I'm not Jewish, but <laughs> but <laughs> it's very important to me. Yeah, no, but that was so uh, helpful. My goodness. Yeah, no, honestly, everything about that set, I'm I'm really. I'm really happy that all of that happened, man. Like the willingness it, of everybody was, was very, yeah, every, very yeah. nice. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I had just, I don't know. I, I think I'm really starting to form my crew, the people I enjoy working with. I mean, obviously you three, uh, counting Chris, who isn't technically here, um, <laughs> because like you guys are great. And but you, you know like all, some of my amazing <laughs> camera people. Yeah, I up. never want to see you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are difficult. Um, uh, but yeah. then like you know I'm also like really getting to know like I mean, for instance like Megan's going to be the head of the makeup department oh. on probably everything because she she's so be. great. She's, she's she head, knows man. exactly what she's doing yeah, and she she's awesome. Them. And you're like, oh my gosh, even like this stuff, because uh, spoilers for, well, I mean, you've seen it. If you guys haven't seen it and you get us, all of us talking about this, like, what the mess are you doing? Uh, it's like 10 minutes. Go watch it. It's but, um, amazing. At this point, it's, 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 it turned it. out really well. Uh, <laughs> and, and Cadence did an amazing job doing the, the, the soundtrack for it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That's the last one, though. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. Well, technically the last one isn't even a song. It's just sci-fi noises. <laughs> but uh uh what was i even saying oh but yeah no like like with the fingers that was and, mm-hmm. and the bullet wounds everything Ma- uh, just i almost called her maggie because I kept talking <laughs> about the title God. megan did incredible and i really look forward to using her on the the shorts i was talking about earlier with that because like there's a lot going on in um at least the second script specifically there's a sequence where someone has to get stitches without like anesthetics and anything right so we're gonna have to uh patch up somebody's tum tum it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so i told her about it and she's like i love a challenge and i was like right. heck yes so we're gonna freaking do it dude it's gonna be awesome i'm really looking forward to working with all of my people again honestly like i i'm really thankful for uh all the people that i i i've come to know like in my crew my so I, I'd like to thank my family for this one. Uh, so, welcome. hey, I guess technically we'll go ahead and shift into Take It or Leave It, what? and that's my Take It. Yeah. So, uh, oh, by the way, because Dylan and Anthony, whenever they were on, they wanted us to continue this because it's actually kind of good. At the end of a Take It, we do snaps. 
and at the end uh -huh. of the uh, leave it, we do like a three, two, one clap. Okay. okay. Why? This is going to sound really off right now with no. Well, in the final edit, it will sound okay. fine. Okay. 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 I'm Trust down. me. Okay. All right. So snaps. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm really doing for leave it. I, I think honestly. Uh, we had to push back recording like 15 minutes because of uh, me being on a jog. So that was fun. Uh, it felt, well, it didn't feel good. I won't say that. But I feel very proud of myself for doing it. Me and, uh, me, mom, and my sister Katie are really trying to, like, we've been talking together a lot about uh, what we're eating and what we're doing for exercise and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, you know, I really need to start exercising. And then Katie and and mom were like, so, yeah, we need to get skinny before the wedding. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, my other sister got engaged. By yes, the way. I, don't know I heard. I... No. Yeah, so that's the thing. Congratulations, that is a Jack. That's a legitimate and Colby. Clap. Yeah, like, legit, like, super awesome. And I'm super freaking happy for him. So, yeah, we're uh, we're apparently going to be Australian uh, underwear models by the time of the wedding, so that's <laughs> something. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, so that's that's my leave it uh, is being a tubby boy. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna clap it. All right, here we all go. Right, Three, right. two, one. <laughs> wow, go. I hope that was I hope that was on. <laughs> Gosh, oh. that sounds so bad in the actual edit because it was just like. <laughs> oh yeah, you could just cut out that little part and then like move them all together. Just... <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> oh yeah. Morty. All right. Uh, so yeah, Chase. Why don't you why don't you go ahead so Cadence can think about what he's doing now? Okay. Okay. So um, <laughs> as far as taking, um, I have been being more active, and that's been awesome. And learning new things and uh, mm -hmm. drawing more. That's awesome. Um, yeah, dog. You've been sending me a lot of your drawings, and they look incredible. Shoot, dude. I don't. I know, like, really, I really liked your comic Thanos. Oh yeah, I I liked it too. I like comic Thanos a lot. Now the now the Avengers Thanos, like MCU. Oh, well, I, it was mm -hmm. um, it was it looks okay until you get to the eyes, and then it looks like weird. But ugh, I don't know. I got a long way to go, but I'm definitely learning, so that's good. Oh, yeah. So Dude, you got to start somewhere, and I'm freaking proud of you for putting your your nose to the grind, dog. Freaking oh yeah. Kid. Oh snaps. Yes. Snap. Sorry. Snap. 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 Um, if it resonates right. with you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he snaps in you. Um, <laughs> but let's see. As far as leaving, uh, I don't know. As <laughs> as much as I've been like active, I still haven't been. You know, watching what I, I'm eating. I still as much. haven't been active. <laughs> like, as I'm much as I'm active. saying I'm active, I'm not actually that active. No. <laughs> as um, much as I'm saying I'm active, I'm lying. Uh, I'm like as active as a sloth. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> um, but no. So as as active as I have been, it's kind of I haven't been eating as well. So I do think I want to mm. like dial that in, and be able to say that I'm actually living a healthy lifestyle. For a little bit before all this stuff yeah. ends, yeah, and I have to go back to what I was doing, which was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Good quarantine. I'm I'm am I'm an optimistic. So, oh wait, we didn't clap. Hold on, before I say what I was going to say, we got to clap. Three, okay. two, one. Oh, <laughs> clap! No. So bad. Uh. Dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I'm pretty optimistic. I think quarantine. I, dude, I honestly, I think hopefully in May we'll be looking at getting back to, well, a new normal. I don't think we're, we're ever going to go back to the same normal that we had, but we're going to have a, a whole new normal. Like the way that we like do movies and sports and stuff like that, I think is going to change. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I do think that, um, but I, I think, you know, oh, yeah. soon I will be able to, to be with each other again. I'm really missing my bro hugs yeah. a lot. Yeah. Like, that's a that's a thing. I'm missing my guys. But, uh, yeah, hey, Cade, what are you taking? Uh, what are you, what you thinking, Cade? Hey, how's what it are going? You, what are you thinking? Welcome back to the AC <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, in case you left. In case you left. Yeah, if, you're, if you're tuning um, in now, you're listening. I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm really blessed um, just overall this past couple months. Um, even mm. though it might be really hard for other people. Um, 
it's been really nice just hanging it hanging it with my family and uh, I don't know still being able to be active and um, I'm playing a mm-hmm. lot of basketball and if you know hey. me at all I love basketball like I love basketball um, yeah. so I'm I'm super blessed that I get to still do that with all my brothers and my dad um, yar I don't know that's pretty great dude um leaving wise <laughs> oh wait hold on okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. okay so many snaps um <laughs> this might sound really shallow <laughs> oh, yar but i hopped here on we go. okay this is my first this is my first leave it so so just take bear with me here oh boy just a disappointing moment um oh i hopped on to uh Modern Warfare 2, uh-huh. non-remastered, uh-huh. Ooh. and the game is broken. Oh, of course oh. it is. The, well, the hackers, it seems like every AAA game the virus is broken. has made its way into the Oof. mitts, and it is, it is perhaps the most one of the most enjoyable games I've ever played <laughs> is the most unenjoyable game I have ever played. I guess it kind of changes the way you play Infected, huh? That's tragic. <laughs> it's it's actually terrible now. Like, oh yeah, someone would jump up in the air and spin around in 500 circles and kill three people with a sniper rifle. Oh, perfect. That's yeah. beautiful. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's that great. makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it seems like every AAA title is kind of broken on release. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but there's always like that day one patch, oh yeah, whatever, where it's like, oh sorry, I just gotta sit down and download seventy gigabytes of updates on the first day. Oh yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. It just sucks. Like that was that was a cool thing that I used to do with my brothers, and I used to play. Mm-hmm. Just it was, it was a cool moment. But then now, I think I think the disappointing thing is people take it for granted and. I know that sounds so deep within a video game, but <laughs> yeah. like in reality, like that was that was something that was cool to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people just just I don't know. They kind of destroyed people it. Be ruining it. Ruining it. Everybody else yeah. is fun. Yeah. They so. just keep taking. And t- <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my. This gets it. real dramatic. All right. Well, yeah. hey, we're gonna clap it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I was wow. definitely off. I was off because I Did, you lagged. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's like oh. three. I didn't even hear One. Cade's clap. Huh. I just heard like I did, I did three, two, one, and then I heard Chase. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Put your listening oh, ears on. It was on. great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Geez. You know what? I don't think I need you to disrespect me off the podcast forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it escalates real quickly. Good lord. No, this is a good podcast. I think. I actually think, I think this is. Think you... this, I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Let me catch like you up. I agree. The part while. where you guys just kept making fun of me. That was great. <laughs> yeah. that's, if I'm being 100 percent honest, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> that's always how it goes. You guys just make fun of me, and then in the background, all you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's all of the laughter from the audience. Wait, how'd you get them, like, in line? The HPE show it's has it's been crazy. I, I didn't know I that I told you guys. The yeah, <laughs> HPE show is so for the love of studio audience. Goodness gracious. All right, we can cut it. <laughs> Yar.